In this video, we delve into the untold stories of Elizabeth Shue while sharing rare photos from her life. After struggling to balance academic pursuits and personal passion, Elizabeth faced a challenging decision to conform to her parents' expectations or pursue her own path. Ultimately, she chose the latter, dropping out of school to pursue a career in acting. However, as time passed, she may have regretted this decision. Elizabeth's family experienced separation when she was nine, and she, along with her siblings, spent their childhood with their father. Perhaps influenced by their upbringing, Elizabeth and her younger brother Andrew Shu decided to venture into Hollywood. Contrary to a popular story about Elizabeth doing commercials to support college bills at 16, financial constraints were not a significant issue for her family. The primary challenge was determining their individual paths. Elizabeth made the bold decision to quit Harvard in her last semester and fully commit to acting. Hollywood initially embraced her, and after a decade, she returned to Harvard to complete her degree in political science. Following her time in Burger King television commercials, Elizabeth gained recognition with small roles, including the 1982 royal romance film depicting Charles and Diana. Her breakthrough came with the role of Ally Mills in the blockbuster Karate Kid, and subsequent projects like Cocktail alongside Tom Cruise and notable appearances in Back to the Future 2, The Merry Man, Soap Dish with Sally Field and Whoopi Goldberg followed. Elizabeth HSU's career reached its pinnacle with the 1995 film Leaving Las Vegas, earning her an Oscar nomination for Best Actress. However, shortly after her successful period, Elizabeth inexplicably disappeared from the limelight at the height of her career, returning later for minor roles on television. Speculations arose about whether she was overwhelmed by personal challenges or left to focus on her family. The true reason behind her decision will be explored later in the video. Before her career achievements, tragedy struck Elizabeth's life when she was a child. During a family vacation in 1988, Elizabeth witnessed the death of her brother in a freak accident. As the only girl among three brothers, this devastating incident had a profound impact on her. William, Elizabeth's brother, tragically lost his life when the rope he was swinging on broke, causing him to fall onto a tree branch that impaled him. Witnessing her brother's struggle for life left a lasting impact on Elizabeth. She realized the fragility of human existence and learned not to fear expressing vulnerability. Reflecting on the experience, she said, Will's death taught me not to be afraid to express my vulnerability, that rawness inside myself that I tried so long to protect. Leaving Las Vegas proved to me that strength comes with vulnerability, and that's something I always have to remember. Nine years after William's death, Elizabeth, along with her elder brothers Andrew and John, wrote and produced the film Gracie as a tribute to her late brother. The movie revolves around a young girl coping with the loss of her older brother while attempting to join the high school all-male varsity team. Although emotionally challenging for the family, Elizabeth believed that sharing personal stories through art was a beautiful and powerful endeavor. Following these challenging moments, Elizabeth hoped for a less tumultuous life and found herself entangled in a passionate but short-lived love affair with American musician Rick James. Despite their deep connection, their relationship faced challenges due to James' wild lifestyle, which included involvement with multiple women in the industry and a penchant for partying. Their breakup, while not fully explained, was likely influenced by these differences. After parting ways with Rick James, Elizabeth embarked on a more stable chapter in her personal life. She married film executive Davis Guggenheim in 1994, whom she had met at a party in the late 80s. This marriage marked a significant change for Elizabeth, providing her with a supportive and fulfilling partnership. In this video, we delve into the fascinating life of Elizabeth Shue sharing some rare photos and uncovering the untold stories of her journey.
Elizabeth faced a pivotal moment in her life where she had to choose between conforming to her parents' wishes or pursuing her true passion. Despite opting for a career in acting, challenges persisted, and she dropped out of Harvard in her last semester to dedicate herself fully to the craft. Rick James, the American musician, became Elizabeth's first love, introducing her to a world of passion but also chaos. Their relationship was short-lived due to their divergent lifestyles, yet they maintained a professional rapport afterward. However, it wasn't until Elizabeth met film executive Davis Guggenheim at a party in the late 80s that she found lasting love. Davis won her over by offering to write their story and casting her and her brother Andrew Shu in a movie. The couple's marriage faced a test in 1997 when rumors circulated about Elizabeth's supposed infidelity with American actor Val Kilmer during the making of The Saint. While the chemistry between Elizabeth and Val was undeniable, she vehemently denied any secret romance, emphasizing their brother-sister dynamic. Elizabeth valued her marriage and defended her relationship with Val, highlighting their shared experience of losing brothers in tragic accidents. In discussions about cosmetic surgery, Elizabeth expressed her indifference towards wrinkles and gray hair, standing out as one of the few actresses in Hollywood unbothered by such considerations. She embraced the natural aging process, expressing curiosity about how she would look as an old lady. Elizabeth, shaped by her childhood experiences in a dysfunctional home, prioritized family in her life. Her parents' separation deeply affected her, leading her to focus on flexible, minor acting roles to be present for her children. Despite challenges, her marriage with Davis endured, and Elizabeth continued to take acting roles while enjoying a glamorous lifestyle with her family. In 2020, at the age of 60, Elizabeth reprised her role as Ally Mills in the third season of Cobra Kai, exciting her fans. She currently resides in Wilmington, USA, leading a fulfilling life with her family. Elizabeth Shu, aging like fine wine, boasts an estimated net worth of $20 million. If you enjoyed this video, don't miss our other features on beautiful actresses from bygone eras on the 